say, speaking of balance, I think I added one to the doc too, and I've been kind of forced to to revisit this uh, highly effective habit, the power of no. Mm. And we've talked about it before. Um, and with summertime around, and I, I was years ago, I was, I was a pleaser. I said yes to everything. I, I felt like I had to, you know, two kids later, I get a 10 and eight year old. Mm -hmm. I'm inside of lacrosse. I mean, I'm preaching the choir, mm -hmm. lacrosse, softball, swimming, mm -hmm. uh, you know, beach volleyball, uh, networking events. All this stuff is going on. All this stuff is going on and you want to try to do everything. But if you if you don't prioritize and understand the power of no, your, your tank's going to be out of fuel fast. And it, go, it, it goes both ways, both in your personal life and business. You've got clients that are asking for things that are, are asking you to go places, networking event, lunches and all that, which is fine. And your immediate, your immediate thought is, yes, I got to do it. I have to do it. It's going to, I might miss an opportunity or I might miss, you know, a closing of a sale, whatever. You need to understand that the power of no is there to balance out what is right and wrong, what is proper, what is, what, what, what you need to, what, how you need to prioritize. So I'm, I'm just, I'm inside that. I mean, here it is almost August and this summer has been kind of a lot of just checking off the list. And um, I have to say no to certain things, things I want to do, but you can't do it all because your tank's going to run, your tank's going to run empty and you're just not going to be present for your family, for your customers and all that. So just want to make sure I remind people to, to understand the power of no. Yeah. He who is everywhere is nowhere. Um, <laughs> Very good. And, you know, you have a finite amount of energy yeah. um, and you know, the James Altucher, all these guys, you know, that I think he wrote a book, the power of no, but he did. The, yeah. the most successful people are really good at saying no. And right. it's not just not doing anything, but like we said, we can't go on every meeting. We can't, you know, you can't do everything because, you know, like you said, if you do everything, you have a finite amount of energy and then you get home at night and you're short with your kids, you're short with your wife, right. you're short with yourself. You know, uh, instead of cooking yourself a healthy meal, you go to McDonald's. Like it, yep. everything is yeah, connected. Now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Everything's connected. And uh, I think that was, I mean, my goodness, that's one of the most important things we could possibly talk about. Uh, the Absolutely. power of no, especially, especially us, you know, um, because we want to please. We're, we, we're, we're growing a business and, you know, who are we to say, you know what? I don't want to work on that, but you have to do that. <laughs> right. Um, so uh, that was a great one. Um, well, yeah. And there's, I mean, there's also power. No, in not only, you know, saying no to, to certain things to prioritize and, and balance your, your business life and your, you know, your, your home life, but there's also power and no a little st recently. Well, we just signed on a new client yesterday mm -hmm. and, uh, two months ago, uh, he, he, you know, this, this client was a prospect and he, he said, no, thank you. I, I, I don't, I don't think, you know, merge analytics, you know, will bring us value. So he said, no. And what did our old, uh, our old VP of sales say, uh, selling uh, starts when somebody says no, absolutely. Sometimes, you know, when, <laughs> when, when, when it's clear that, that somebody doesn't need your product or that they may have a product that fits the needs, you know, equally, then and when they say no, you thank them for their time and then you walk away. But when you have a prospect that has engaged, that has interest in what you presented to them, they may have opened up an email, they may have gotten a social media message or something. That's the start of of of, of the prospect saying, "I I heard you and I I may need something like 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 you offer," mm -hmm. and. This, this prospect said no midway. And, and I'm thinking to myself, I know, like, I know our product could, could bring him value. Why, why is he saying no, thank you? So I said, okay, no problem. Thanks, Bob, or whatever I'll call him, Bob. And I said, well, I just want to, I just want to send you this because you may have missed this feature. Cause mm -hmm. you got to remind yourself that you're not going to cover everything mm -hmm. in your product. You're not going to cover every feature and things will be missed. So I sent him, you know, high level report. I showed him how data is displayed differently. I, I sent him, 
you know, different, you know, functionality that he was unaware of. And his, you know, he's like, wow, I, I didn't, I didn't know that. Thank you for sending that. I didn't know the product could show data in that, that, that way. Perhaps we may want to use it. Yeah. When he said, perhaps I'm like, okay, well, I so you're saying there's a chance. So, so you're saying there's a chance, <laughs> right? So, but but here's where I'm going with this: the power of no. When he said no, and my instinct says, said, I think there is a need there. I think there's a need just knowing, like just knowing you our know the business. Yeah, yeah. I just know. I know that I qualified him. So what, plus, what we I, could tell that the data he was getting was great. Exactly. Yeah. So what what was the power no here was I pulled what I did for him and we're going to take that information to our developers to then display that information easier for our future customers. So this this prospect who said no is providing value for our company. That is much more. That is much more important than yes, I'll take it. Totally. Yes, yes, I'll take it. Is is just fit, uh, you know is just a formula. Um, you have interest. I I presented. You see value. We sold it. I don't. I don't love. I love the yeses because we're we're growing the business. Yeah, right. But the nos that turn into yeses, we Just understand the yeah. gaps uh, in our product and company that make us better. That make us better. So that was that was a, that was kind of a reverse side of the power. No, I mean, there's no saying no to things to balance your life, but there's also in understanding why somebody's saying no, really diving in and then turning it around. If you can turn around, because we know like those that say no that don't have that don't need it, it's like you know, thank you, move on. But this was a different situation, and uh, I was real proud of that 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 turning point, and we've we learned something about ourselves. So anyway, power. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't just say no to everything, right? Um, 